Hi, I'm Constance Zimmer. I play Shira Bolitar on Shelter, and you are watching Young Entertainment Mag. Hello, my name is Ryan. I'm with Young Entertainment Magazine. I'm Hi, really Ryan. Hi. I'm super, <laughs> super excited to get to talk to you today. You look fabulous, by the way. I, oh, always. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're all really big fans of yours and we're really excited to see you in this new role as Shira. So can you tell us a little bit about what your experience was like playing Shira and how she's different from or if she's different from any of the roles that you've played in the past? Yes, she definitely is different. Uh, she obviously has some similarities as well. But what I liked about Shira the most was that she has a fish out of water element to her that I have not uh, portrayed uh, as often as I'd like to. Um, I kind of like the energy of someone who is very strong in their own world, like in their own space, but you take them out of that and all of a sudden it's kind of like the walls are falling around them and they're trying to stay strong, but um, but seem a little lost and and confused by the ground underneath their feet. And so I liked that about her, that it gives her a sense of vulnerability, whether she wants to be vulnerable or not, it's kind of forced upon her. And she is trying to create a presence in a world that she doesn't really know much about. So that was what was very intriguing to me because I just felt that, wow, you could do so much with that and all of the layers and all of the stuff that still has yet to be revealed, you know, all these secrets that she's holding and that she's been holding for years, how that is going to affect her as well as a character. Well, it's interesting how you bring up the secrets secrets that have yet to be revealed because it seems like we're we're most familiar with you being in projects that have a lot of elements of suspense and things like that so is that something that you personally are a fan of is that something that you look for when it comes to projects to be a part of honestly i go where the characters are i i really follow characters more than i follow story and and if it's a character that i feel that i can really kind of dive into and and be able to put out into the world um, different versions of, of people that they can see in themselves. Uh, that is what I'm drawn to. And sometimes those characters tend to be in worlds that are a little complicated. And um, um, it's funny though that you say, because I'm like, have I been in things that are suspenseful? But I guess House of Cards, is pretty suspenseful um you know but the like the thriller genre of of this world i i haven't dabbled in as much uh but i do like characters that keep secrets i just think it makes them a little bit more interesting <laughs> yeah for sure and us as viewers are definitely like interested to to see you playing those types of parts um so since there are so many different aspects of the show that kind of have to carry that suspense and that thriller aspect, uh, would you say that, what is it about the show that you think really uh, adds to that kind of thriller feel? Was it maybe the music or the sets and the backgrounds? What, is there anything that really like got you into that, that headspace to play a character like that being a part of the show? Well, to me, it, it's the writing. It's, you know, Harlan Coben is just a genius at writing uh, suspense novels and thrillers and keeping the twists and the turns um, in ways that you think you haven't figured out, but then you don't. And within that, having these characters that you care about, like from the get-go, I found so fascinating. I mean, I had just met these characters when I read the script and I already cared so much about them and I was worried and what's gonna happen and oh, don't do that. And, you know, so that to me is really the writing of it. Um, and then the actors uh, that bring it all to life, you know, make it that much more compelling and, and you care for them because their characters are so fully developed and fleshed out. Well, it's interesting that you bring up the other actors that 
are on this show with you because um, a lot of the them are very young or new to the industry. So uh, what was it like working with them? Did they ask you for any advice? Did you offer them any advice? Uh, yes, they asked for advice and I would give advice even when I wasn't asked. <laughs> I felt like that was kind of my job. Like that's what I needed to do. It was so wonderful and so refreshing to be on a set with um, a, a bunch of actors that have all different levels of how what they've done before Shelter and the excitement and the wonder. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an energy that you don't get to be around very often, especially on a set and on, on the majority of the shows I've done. Um, and so I really loved it because it, it made me feel like I was seeing acting again and like that first acting job, like through their eyes and watching them take it and enjoy it. I mean, after the premiere in Monaco, to see them just flanked by fans, it was like, it made me tear up because I was so excited for them. and. They're all so great and so wonderful. And I'm just excited for people to get to know them as actors. Yeah, and we're all really excited to get to know them and get to know their characters and get to know your character in Shelter. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me and congratulations on the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the season. <laughs>